Are you ready for Christmas? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Bridget Ayer with All About the Grace and Christmas is coming soon and Christmas can be really super stressful or it can be really super fun. Um, I tend to be on the stressful side because there's always so much to do. That's why the Hallmark movies are so popular because everything's just so perfect. Um, well, I am going to talk about simplifying your Christmas so it's stress-free and meaningful. So this episode is going to be how to simplify your Christmas and make it stress-free and more meaningful. And so I've got three tips that you can do that I'm doing to make this Christmas time really meaningful. Uh, okay, so the first thing you want to do is do what matters. Sit down before Christmas starts, this is a good time, right? I'm recording this well before Thanksgiving. And sit down and reflect about what you like to do and what you don't like to do and what really matters. Um, the way you simplify is you just do what matters. There's always all these extraneous things or extemporary things that we get dragged into doing. Um, whether it be volunteering for things we don't really want to be volunteering for or you know all these various obligations that we have to do um, so sit down with a cup of coffee evaluate what really matters to you and talk to your family what really matters to them and then decide what you're gonna do what really matters so that's number one do what really matters so number two kinda goes with number one um, say no. Say no to stuff that you don't want to do so that you can say yes to the things that you do want to do. So think about the things that really stress you out. Like if cooking the meal really, really stresses you out, but you still want to do it, maybe get some help or have somebody else do dinner this time or have people bring stuff. Whatever it is that stresses you out, um, you might want to make a list of that. You know, what, what are the things that are stressing you out? See if you can just cross them off your list and don't do them this year. Number three is do stuff versus getting stuff. I don't know if you're like me. I have so much stuff. I mean, I, I can't stand clutter for one. I have so much stuff, though. I mean, my kids have so much stuff. My husband has so much stuff. We have so much stuff, <laughs> and we don't need any more stuff. So everybody that is buying us, don't buy us stuff. Um, so do stuff like um, in the Indianapolis area where I live they have Christmas at the zoo um, you can volunteer uh, I know that our church um, before Christmas we do the turkey tags where you bring a meal to somebody or bring the, the, the turkey dinner to someone um, do something together as a family go ice skating you know that's really super fun um, do things that, that, that make memories. Make Christmas cookies together um, and then give them to your neighbors. That's something we like to do. A lot, a lot of our neighbors do that. Do stuff that creates memories versus getting stuff that's just going to sit around and may, maybe may, may or may not even be used. So those are the three things. Do what matters this Christmas season. Say no to things that stress you out so that you can say yes to the things that really matter. And number three, um, do stuff with your loved ones versus getting them stuff. Um, so those are my three tips. I'm going to try it out this year and I'll let you know how it goes. So um, until next time, bye-bye.